Okay guys, spring has sprung. I don't know if it's official, but I'm making it official today with <laughs> Melissa Dela Cruz and you're gonna hook us up with some spring looks. Yeah, inspiration. I'm gonna do it a little nighty style. Nice. But use some spring colors. It'll be fun, put a little vibe in there. And I heard she has a little something she's gonna do a little unconventional, like you might not think you can use. So I'm getting excited, can't wait to see it. Today I'm going to do a pastel set in acrylic and I'm going to do some cutouts and impressions with paper clips. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is push back my cuticles. Never skip this step. It's super important to see where their protein and cuticle growth is. Then I'm going to go into my medium arbor band and I'll prep on like five or six thousand RPMs and I will do baby circles around the cuticle area, tickle through the rest of the nail. Now, if you notice, I kind of do it at an angle. It's a lot easier than going like this. So if you break it in zones one, two, and three, one, two, and three, I kind of meet them together. So let's go around the cuticle area in zone one, on zone one of the nail, tickling through. Now I'm in zone two, moving on down to zone three. So remember, we have zones on our drill bit and zones on our fingernail. So you'll have zone one, two and three and you'll have zone one two and three on the fingernail as you saw i connected my zones zone one is your prep as you go down zone two you're hitting zone two of the nail as you can see then here you're hitting zone three it's a lot easier to prep like that because you're not just trying to use zone one the whole time and it kind of cramps your hand it's just kind of like an easy flow then what i'm going to do from here is go ahead and dust off everything first. I do this on my client every time. The reason why I dust first, it's removing all her debris first, then I'm gonna go in with swipe to change her pH balance. You always have to wait for your swipe to dry before you apply your protein bond. Remember that, because if you go in while it's still wet, what will happen is it cancels out your protein bond because swipe removes and cleanses the, the um, nail. So you wanna make sure you make sure it's dry like this before you put on your protein bond. Okay, one coat, then you'll go through all 10 and apply your second coat. So now let's form our nails. I think I'll do square today. Might as well, all that 90s vibe. Now on Sally, you notice I push the form a little back more than on a person, of course, so the form stays on. It's just how I work on my training hand. Okay, so the colors I'm gonna build with, I kinda custom mixed a couple colors. Um, Flamingo is the base of both of these. This mix right here is Flamingo and Funkadelic, and I put a raw glitter inside the Flamingo to give it like a little purple sheen to it. This one's Cover Blush and Flamingo in this one, so it kinda has a sheen. Um, cover blush is a pale pink. I wanted a little more pink, so that's why I added flamingo. Now my colors that I'm gonna use my impressions with and my cutouts with are slick pore colors. I'm gonna use Clever, Itty Bitty, and Soul Struck. So I'm also gonna use Speed White. Don't forget that one. I'll add a little Speed White in there. So let's get started with the creation. Okay, my first now I'm gonna use my flamingo and cover blush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my entire nail first. Um, kind of as fast as I can, because it's just gonna have, I'm just going to have a little bit of time to do my impressions and my cutouts. So I kinda need to move in a time to where it's still wet, where I could cut out what I wanna cut out. Okay, so what I'm going to do, draw out my monomer. Go ahead and extend it, and I'm gonna move kinda fast, but I'll explain what I'm doing bringing it even with my sidewalls. Okay, I'm not gonna wait till this sets. I'm gonna move on, cause I could always babysit it. As you can see, it's gonna move a little on me, not a big deal. I'm gonna start my reverse right here. And while it's flowing down, I'll bring this in. If you notice when you add glitter to, or using glitter to a, a pink mixture, it kinda doesn't flow as fast. It's kind of nice because it's not going to run everywhere on me. 
So see how it's a little wetter, but I want it like that so it's gonna allow enough time for me to do my cutouts and my impressions. I have to babysit just a little back here. I call it babysitting because I have to keep going back and forth with it. And I'm gonna do a square now. Draw out a little monomer, come right here. Feather this all in. Perfect, it's all still really wet. So I'm gonna be able to achieve what I'm aiming for. Kinda just looks like a really long, crazy nail right now. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna take out some of my monomer out of my brush. Make sure I have my arch. I'll put a little bit more in the middle. Okay, now I'll tidy it up. It's kind of cold in here. It's literally like 60 some degrees in here. So it's taking a little bit for it to set up. It's also my first acrylic of the day. My second one would go a little bit faster, probably. Okay, so now that I'm building this all up, square nails are so hot again right now. I was thinking about putting them on myself. I just am stuck on my shape right now for some reason. I really like it, but I will end up putting a square set on myself at some point. Okay, so here's where your time is limited. I'm gonna take my speed clear out. I'm not gonna use it. I'm just going to put these, dip them in here when I'm going to use them. So I have a little bit of time right now. As you can see, it's still kind of moving. I think the first one I'm going to do is, let's use this little circle part. I'm gonna dip it in my powder, put your finger underneath, come straight in push down and pull through. So what I did is I created a negative space. Make sure it's clean through here. No big deal. Maybe I'll come in with this one. I'm just using my imagination from here. Maybe I'll come in this way, push it inside. So this is my impression, okay? Here's a little impression right here too. Then let's do a little one coming this way. Okay, so now I have my little impressions in here. Okay, I think I'm gonna do my purple on the corner. So I'm gonna roll it off my brush so it keeps that intense color. And I'm building it up as high as the nail is. Kind of has a cool marble effect in there. Okay, my next one, what I'm going to do, and I might have to babysit this because this is wet, right? The next one, I think I'll put white right here. So I'm just filling in my negative space. This I'll definitely have to babysit a little while, but that's okay. It's like literally, yeah, 66 degrees in here. So then let's go into our other color. See, I'm using it really wet. Making sure it goes inside your little negative space you made. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more, a little more of this color here, because I need it a little higher. There we go. Okay, from here, let's use white again. So what I'll do is as I go on, I'll do different colors. Okay, as you can see, it's just starting to set up right now. Perfect. Okay, it's kind of like netting. Remember I, we did the netting video? Um, it's the same concept. The only difference is I'm making negative space with, let me put a little bit more in here, with the paper clip. 
Now I was gonna bring my jewelry making tool where you could bend wire. I forgot it. So I just used my hands and the magic wand to do these. But they're gonna be cool when they're done. So let's see if this will go ahead and I think I'm gonna wet my little magic wand. And because this is a square, I'm gonna come in here, kinda let it pinch in a little. So what I'm doing is I'm just letting the natural pressure of the pinch come in. Okay, and bring it in just a, oops, that's all right, I didn't mess up anything, I have to file it anyways. Okay, let's move on to the next nail. Okay, this one I'll do my Funkadelic and Flamingo mix. Draw out my monomer. Place it right here. Kind of get it in place kind of as fast as I can. Keeping that square shape. Okay, let's do reverse. Again, I like to hold the hand down. Put it right at the cuticle, let it flow down. Wipe my brush. This is such a cool color. I actually, when I came in today, I saw Greg made a similar color. So it gave me the inspiration to make it with Flamingo. Super hot color. Come in the opposite direction. Yes, I am flowing better with the second nail. You all could relate to me. Your first acrylic doesn't count, but it needs to look good at the end, right? <laughs> okay. So once I build my nail, put a little bit more right here. Stress point. Okay, let's kind of tidy it up a little. Okay, so now I'm gonna move kind of fast. So I think I'm gonna use these two now, these paper clips. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip them in my powder. Okay, I'll leave my powder right there. So I'll come in right here. I'm gonna put my fingernail underneath. Right here I'm gonna cut out, push down, kind of drag it out. So I have my negative space right here. So I'm making sure it's pretty clean. Let me wipe it out of here and go back in just to make sure I get it pretty clean. Right here, I wanna get out a little more. I have plenty of time. I'm not gonna panic. I have a lot of time. And none of these are perfect circles or anything. They're just like different shapes. So it's gonna come out really cool at the end. Let's go in our clear. Let's do this little swirl. I'm gonna press it in here. Let me go in a little deeper right here. That looks pretty cool. Okay, and then maybe I'll do like a little, let's get this little one here. And come in kind of like this. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool. Okay, it kind of flattens out a little. No big deal, don't worry, you could pinch it after. So I'm gonna start filling it with my color. Let's do this cool pink color. So I kind of got used to the temperature, as you could tell. It's not flowing as fast as my first one. That happens. That's the fun of acrylic, though. Okay, so now let's do our purple. I think I want to put purple right here. Actually, a design like this would be very popular in the 90s too. Okay, let's go into white. Let's bring our white right here. Draw a monomer. Let me. There we go, I made it a little more negative space. So I used it real wet and filled it in. As you can see, my pink is flowing. Every now and then I'll come push it back up until she's ready to quit flowing. 
no big deal it happens see I'm just starting to push it now okay let's do our green up here our nice mint color Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just wait a second and try to get this to set up. Okay, this is just barely moving now. It looks like it's gonna wanna stay for me. probably really wet on the pink side so what I'm gonna do is kind of bring it in and see how much it'll bring it in for me there we go okay it showed that I needed to add a little bit on the purple and I could bring this down because it was a little wet still let me add just a tad bit more here so what it did is when I squeezed it it kind of drew in so I'll just fill it up there we go let me put a little more green. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna let these dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna electric file them and shape them. But I had a talk with Sally and she decided she wanted to go a little tapered square. So I'm gonna taper them in a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna use my X cut and I'm gonna put it on 12 to 13,000 RPMs. I'm gonna do it on 12 and see how it works. I might bump it up to 13. Both are correct. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so let me get my dust extractor real quick. Can't start without that. I like to put it sideways. I've said that before because I like to rest my hand here. Here I kind of feel uncomfortable. So I like to put mine sideways. It's just comfortable for me. Let's turn this on. Okay, so what I'm going to do, she wants to taper them from here. I'm gonna start right here and come up. So they're still gonna be square, just kind of tapered in. Let's see this side. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take our sides in. Now remember that you could do this with a hand file. I just like to do it with my electric file. It's faster for me. Okay, so let me fix Sally here. Now I'm gonna go from the side. And I'm gonna drill in her arch. And as you electric file, whoops, got a little loud on Sally. Okay, once I see my arch come in, I'm gonna come on top and blend everything in. And you could see my design starting to come in. I'm looking at it down the barrel of the nail, seeing where it's the thickest. I'm bringing it all in. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, right here needs to come down a little more. I really like how the purple marbled. It looks really cool. I actually initially didn't plan on that, but I like the way it looks. So you'll see I kind of go back to my sides a little if I think I need more. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. Square it off. I always say I'm thankful that clients don't sound this loud when we're filing them. It's just Sally's hollow. <laughs> She's plastic. She's a great training tool though. Okay, now right here is a great, great view. Um, you can see all this hanging. Let me show you with the file. I'm sure you've seen it many times. All that right there hanging needs to come off. And it, it happens when you do impressions because you're pressing the acrylic down and it kind of spreads. So I'll come in through here. Bring it in. There we go. Go around the cuticle area. Blend all this in. Okay, 
Okay, I'm kind of glad this did this because I'm going to show you how to fix something. Right here, the color's kind of out. You can see right here, it's very easy to fix. It's not a big deal. There's also a trick you could do if you have to file too low to get your your designs to come in. You could always cap it with clear from here if you need be. They're pretty good though. Let me make sure they all match. I'm gonna flip her hand around. I like to do this with my electric file and what I'm looking for to see if they're, if I'm favoring a side, I like to come in here. This is client profile. I do this a lot on my clients. It's just faster than hand filing. It kind of gets it in the area I need it. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, this one's pretty good. Okay, so from here, let me move this. Let me go ahead and blend this all in. I'm going to show you how I'm going to add a little right there. It kind of looks cool though, like kind of missing a little right there. I don't know, I might add and I might not. I think it's just the way I pulled it. I'm gonna add to show you just in case you wanna add, okay? It's very easy. Okay, let's go this way again. Now I'll finish filing. So I just tapered square her, her nail. Which is also very popular right now. I used to wear square nails all the time. So I'm kind of looking down the barrel of the nail. This nail looks actually really cool. Let's see this one, it looks really retro. Now what I'm doing here is I'm looking down the barrel, making sure it's all smooth. Her cuticle area. Let's come in a tad bit more, tad bit. Me being picky. Okay, they actually look really good. So let me show you that little spot I was talking about. Okay, this is very funny and ironic. This color is called Itty Bitty and I'm gonna add a little Itty Bitty bit right there. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> so let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wipe out most of my liquid, come in here and get a little itty bitty bit of itty bitty bit color. <laughs> so what I did is I basically wiped most of it off. See that? If you look at it from the side, it's gonna be totally fine when I put my gel polish on. It's gonna soft level over everything. I'm gonna wait for it to dry like about three minutes at the most. I'm gonna file the other hand obviously if it's your client. So there's really no downtime. If you notice something like that, take care of it quick and go to the other hand and file. Okay, it's a great trick to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the set and come back with the finished look. Okay, so now I built out the other two and I'm gonna put the top coat of choice on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do protein bond, which just ensures that your top coat's really gonna bond to it. And I like that it hides any scratches. Now, people ask a lot, could I skip this and just go straight into gel color or top coat? You absolutely can, and chances are it will stay on great. The only thing is this adds more clarity to it, and it's added insurance to put it on with your top coat or your gel polish, so then that way you know that you're not gonna see them till their next appointment. Um, always, I always say this, if they come in for a repair, you could have basically done gel toes or, or like a fill in that amount of time. So I would always protein bond before my top coat or gel polish. So I'm gonna use Ultimate Finish. So I'm gonna come in here 
Now you can see all the custom mixes of the pinks we did. Everything come to life. Now this is what I love about acrylic. You could do impressions. You can't do this with gel. Now remember I added there? You can't even see it, it self leveled over it. I just let it dry and then came in with my top coat. I'm getting spring and Easter vibes. So now I'll cure this for two full minutes. Okay, we are finished and I have to say, I love, I love these. These are amazing. They're pretty funky. However, I need to know how much they're gonna cost me. So how much would you actually charge for the set in salon? Okay, I would actually charge 205. Now it's because I custom mixed everything. I custom mix my, my pink acrylics, two different colors. I also um, used three slick pores, a white acrylic. I did impressions, so I charge for everything I do. So you so. get the kitchen sink, you pay for the kitchen sink. Actually, yes. Yeah. So when you do something custom like that and you're mixing in front of them, you're gonna get paid for it. It does take you a little longer than if your colors are already mixed. So I would suggest this set anywhere. If you're beginning and your confidence isn't there, but I know you're still good, I feel like anywhere this set from 125 to 205, you'd be very happy with. I know that's a wide way, range, but I know some people will be different like- cities, yes, different cities. Yeah, different areas yeah, are totally. different. So I like to give kind of a range with this set. The one thing I wanted to kind of pick out, out of this, you know, is you did the impressions. Yes. What did you charge just for doing the impression? Okay, for the impressions, I just charged extra $20 okay. for it. So what I did is I charged per glitter and per um, slick pour and acrylic that I used, which $5 each. And then for the whole um, impression, doing it on all the nails, because I actually did it on all of them, I just added 20 more dollars. Okay, and last question, because a lot of people ask this. When you pull a glitter out and you say you're charging $5, is that per nail or for the whole? It doesn't matter if you do one okay. nail or all 10 nails. Okay, so like in this case, what I did, I did charge $5 for everything I pulled out, but I also charged for technique, and that was the extra 20, okay, for the technique, the impressions. So. You don't have to charge for technique right away, but I say you should, especially eventually, because that's your education, all the videos you watch, all the classes you take, all the time you spend, and for all these different ideas to do for them. So eventually you could give yourself a raise every year or every six months, I say, it would be awesome. But, <laughs> I love it. I but love every it. year would be amazing. Awesome, well thank you, and again, I, I love you. Thank you. Hey guys, what's going on? We hope you love our videos. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see next. To see more, head over here. To subscribe to our channel, head over here.